Hey guys, it's Shani and I'm back today with another plan with me. And for this week's spread, I'm using this kit from my shop and this kit is called Velvet. Um, I released this kit, I think it was sometime last month, like in August. And I just thought it was such a cute fall kit, um, like with the little booties and all these like cozy elements. Um, and yeah, this is kind of like the start of me using a bunch of fall kits. And this is like the first one. Um, I also thought this one would be like a fun kind of like transitional kit because um, the colors, you know, are like still kind of peachy and like minty and um, I just, I don't know, I really, really love this kit. I think the art is so freaking cute, like especially the full box um, with the little like egg chair in it and also the little outfit. I don't know, I just love all of these so much um and the florals in it i just think it's so cute <laughs> um and i just like kept holding on to this kit i was like i really want to use it but it's too early and then this was the week that we went into september and i was like you know what it's september i think it's safe to use fall kits now so that's exactly what i did um and so i started off with the bottom washi my bottom washi always comes with these two strips that extend all the way um, through like both sides so that's kind of what I did there um, and then I started kind of building my sidebar I realized that starting from the bottom kind of makes the most sense because of the extra bottom washi strips and also because like there's kind of like limited space at the top since there is that whole September 2020 thing um, and I do kind of like to know what month it is so I do like to keep it um, I did get into like a little bit of like squishing into the 2020. It was like just barely touching the bottom there, but um, I thought it was still fine. And so in my sidebar, I have a full box at the top with that little like velvet looking couch, which is where the name of the kit came from with the poof, which looks so cute and so cozy. I would love to have a chair like that. Like that looks so cool. Like the kind of shell effect. Love that. Um, and then underneath that I did use a this week header which I do end up changing out for a dinners header in a little bit because I realized that I tracked my dinners instead of my Instagram posts um, for this uh, week just to kind of like try it out. I'm still like kind of undecided again like I don't really need a sidebar um, but I do like to have something there and I do like to have it filled out just so that it kind of looks more cohesive with the rest of the spread so I kind of just put something there, but really it's like, it's not like that helpful. <laughs> um, and then I had my weekly box there, like I said, and then I used a to-do header with a um, bow checklist that I just kind of keep track of things to do throughout the week, which that I do kind of reference. And I mean, I do sometimes reference the one for the Instagram posts, but just not as like frequently as I used to. I just don't, I just, I don't know. I make to-do lists like on notepads or honestly in my phone recently. I just kind of write out the day that I like want to get it done and I'm just constantly referencing and updating this one like to-do list that I have in my phone. So um, that's kind of what I do there. And then for like daily lists, I've been using my like minimal planner, like the B6 one. So this isn't like the most necessary sidebar, but again, I think it's cute. And then I went ahead and scattered my full boxes throughout. Again, I just think these are so cute and so fall. And then I'm just working on my headers now. So I used one, um, like one of the script headers from the kit. I used the today ones in that peachy color. And then I used the floral patterned headers, which are so cute. I love patterned headers so freaking much. And I love them in like all my recent kits. Um, I usually try to do like floral patterns and I think that's super cute. And then I did also pull in some foiled bow headers um, that were in my shop at one point but are no longer available. And I was like kind of struggling with my headers. Like I felt like I kept messing up like where the headers go. But eventually I kind of figured it out. Like I moved a few of them around but eventually kind of figured it out. And then afterwards, um, do I do my weekend banner? Question mark. Nope. Date covers. <laughs> um, so I just used the date covers from the kit. And then I also pulled in these date dots that are from my shop. These ones are the bow date dots. And I did use rose gold foil with this spread. I feel like you could honestly use any foil color with this kit because, I don't know, I think silver would also look really cool if you're going for like a cleaner look. But 
gold would be really cool to like pull in some more of the warmer tones but I just decided to go with rose gold and I feel like I have so many rose gold spreads this fall um I was like flipping through my planner and some of the kits that I have and I'm like rose gold rose gold rose gold <laughs> like five rose golds in like a, in a in a um in a row wow why did I forget the word row for a second um and then like there'll be like a few like one gold one silver so I kind of gotta be better about you know mixing my foil colors because I felt like I used so much gold um <laughs> this summer and then in the winter I obviously use a ton of like silver and I guess I do go through like the classic three foils a ton but um, it depends on like what time of the year we're in. <laughs> and then this is when I realized that um, I tracked something else and like the this week header totally could have worked. But since I had the dinners header in the kit, I was like, well, I mean, if it matches perfectly, like why not just change it? Like I never really use the dinners header because I never really keep track of what I'm having for dinner. Um, but I had some really bomb dinners this week. Like I'm looking at what I have written down, like... I don't know, my mom and I were like cooking up a storm and then on Thursday I went to a steakhouse and that was bomb um, and then we barbecued at my friend's house. Like it was just, it was a good week for dinners. It was a good week for tracking dinners. I feel like usually it's like make one thing, eat leftovers for a day or two, make one thing. <laughs> but yeah, this day, this week was, this one was a good one. Um, and then I think I start on the day by day question mark. Yes, I do. So the first thing that I'm marking here on Monday was that I had to make a call to my dermatologist um, and I marked that with a cell phone icon from my shop and this hexagon icon or layering thing, layering sticker <laughs> um, that was part of the kit. And then this day my mom and I did go to the grocery store because like I said, we did a ton of cooking this week and we had like a few recipes in mind. So we went to the store this day to pick up everything um, that we wanted to cook throughout the week. And so I marked that with a uh, flag from the kit as well as this uh, like shopping or grocery bag icon that's also from the kit. Um, and then I also used one of these little swooshes that came out in my shop. Um, this past week and you guys <laughs> really loved those so thank you so much I'm glad you like them as much as I do and then later this day my mom and I cooked some of the things that we bought <laughs> so I just used another little flag from the kit and I used one of these like stovetop or like oven stickers that uh, was from my shop a little while ago and then in the evening, Yanni and I watched Money Heist and we actually finished it this day. Um, but there is one more season coming, if I remember correctly. I think there's only one left. And so I marked that we finished it because we'd been watching it for quite a while since there were like four seasons. And I used a half box for that with that little egg chair. And again, I just, I love that egg chair so much. And it felt appropriate for like chilling. So chilling and watching TV. And then on Tuesday, I marked that this was the first day of September. I layered a strip of washi with a Hello September script from Simply Beautiful Plans. And then I also used one of these fall candles that are from my shop. It's part of the fall um, like bow icons sheet. And then I also did um, put a little like twink like star twinkle kind of thing beside it. Um, and that was from The Giving Girl. And then underneath that, I marked working on orders. I used an Ava kind of like at her desk and layered her on top of an arrow from the kit. And then I marked that Yanni and I started watching Outer Banks and now we only have one episode left. I like heard a ton of people talking about it, I think like back in May and I just hadn't really watched it. I just, I don't know. I kind of thought that it would be like a really like silly and like, I don't know, kind of not my type of show but we've really been enjoying it and um, there are some things that are like pretty predictable but I don't know I kind of like it nonetheless and I think they're also having another season come out so I think right I think it said that there's another one um, but yeah I marked starting outer banks with a quarter box from the kit and a TV icon from my shop and then um, at the bottom of the day I just marked that I started like a medication that was like from my dermatologist because 
I've just been breaking out like crazy through this um, whole quarantine. I don't even know what's happening with my skin. I thought it would have like the opposite effect because, you know, wearing way less makeup. Like I probably wore makeup like five or six days out of the week. Actually, I don't know if that's true. I only wore makeup if I was like going somewhere. And if I only had class like three or four days of the week and like maybe one day on the weekend, I don't know. But anyways, yeah, my skin has not been loving this quarantine. So just kind of talk to her and trying something out. And I used a Minuse Addiction little paper clip to mark that and another swoosh on top of it. And then Wednesday, my Kiki K B6 planner arrived and I was so excited. I have never stocked something in the mail, like the tracking number as hard as I did this planner. I just like could not wait because I had all the inserts and everything for it. I just didn't have the actual planner. So I was just like so pumped and excited. And so I used a half box to mark that as well as a planner from Rose and Tea Shop. And then I had a plan with me and go up this day. So I used a bow foiled icon layered on top of a little arrow from the kit. Um, and then I also painted my nails this day. So I used a label with a nail polish icon from my shop. Um, and then I put a little like swoosh on top of that quarter box. Um, and I thought that turned out pretty cute. And then my mom and I were cooking more things. I think on Monday we were making fried rice and um, Wednesday we made risotto. The risotto like turned out like pretty good, but I had this one risotto when I was in Italy and I honestly have never been able to find anything even remotely close to it. And I was like, okay, like maybe we can try making it. I mean, like again, like it was good, but it just, I don't know, nothing can compare it to that one risotto that I had. Um, one day I'll have to go back to Italy just to try that risotto again. I mean, I'm definitely down to go to Italy even without the risotto, but for that risotto, I'll definitely go. <laughs> um, but anyways, I marked cooking with a frying pan icon that was from the kit. And then in the evening, I hung out with my friend Tio and we just went to Starbucks. And so I used a coffee Ava to mark that. Um, I got a pumpkin spice latte when we were there and I realized that those are just like way too sweet for me now. I don't remember if they were always that sweet or if it's like because I just haven't been having as much sugar over the last year from like doing keto for a while. Um, I, I just like more sensitive to it. <laughs> I don't know. It just it seemed way too sweet. Like I used to put like two sugars in my coffee and now I put none. So I feel like a pumpkin spice latte is just a little too much, but I do really like the pumpkin cream cold brew that I tried. I felt like that was either less sweet or maybe because it's an ice drink, I don't mind the sweetness as much. I'm not really sure, but I feel like in the fall, like I want like a warm drink and yeah, that kind of sucks. I loved pumpkin spice lattes. Maybe I can get them to make it like half sweet or something. I'm going to see if I can do that next time. Um, but anyways, Thursday I worked on orders again and I used a half box from the kit and then the floral mandala and this cutting machine and the tiny bow on top of it are all from my shop. And then I kind of just did a little bit of self-care this day. Um, like, I don't even remember what I did. Um, like, I know I washed my hair. I think I did a face mask. Um, I think I actually know I did it. I don't remember what I did this day, but I used some candles from Rose and Tea Shop to mark that. And then this day was really fun. Um, I went and had dinner with some of my girlfriends. We went to a steakhouse. Um, and it was really good. And I marked that with a half box and a like spoon and fork icon from my shop. Um, and then we also had some drinks later in the day and my friends were like staying at an Airbnb downtown. So we went back there and had some more drinks and, um, pretty much, um, Friday was a disaster because I was so hungover. Um, I felt like absolute trash. I think like I norm I don't even think I drank that much if I'm being honest. I just we just had like a little bit of everything. Like we started off with wine at dinner and then we had some like vodka cocktails and then we had some gin cocktails, um some tequila shot, like one tequila shot and then like whiskey. I don't know. It was just like way too much. 
Um, and my body was like, "Mm -mm, no, no. (laughs) So yeah, I was pretty hungover on Friday and I just used some stickers from the kit to mark that like the flag and the deco stickers. And then the two little foiled stickers in that box are from my shop. And then I had a haul video go live this day. So I used another one of the bow icons with the flags. Um, And Yanni and I watched Outer Banks in the evening, so I used a TV icon from my shop to mark that. And then I finished one of my books this day. I was reading um, The Woman in the Window, and I really liked the book throughout. I thought the ending was a little bit like, okay. (laughs) Um, It wasn't my favorite ending, but I don't know. I, I enjoyed the book throughout, so not really sure. Like three, three and a half stars? I'm not sure. Um, But I marked it with a quarter box and the foiled book icons from my shop. And then Saturday I woke up and I was super inspired to design um, because I was having some new releases on Monday and I thought I had everything finalized, but I just woke up and I designed the autumnal kit and um, I think it ended up being like the best seller from the kits for the release. So I'm glad I did that and I'm so glad that you guys liked it. Um, But I did that and I used the laptop icon from the kit and I layered it on top of a little swoosh. And then this was the tragic day where my coffee fell on my brand new B6 Kiki K. Um, I talked about it on my Instagram. If you guys saw that, oh my god, my heart still hurts. Some of my pages still have coffee on them because I haven't like replaced all of them yet. I'm still waiting for some inserts in the mail. Um, I also ordered some new dividers, but I don't really like them, and I really like the ones that came with the planner, but they've got coffee all over the little, like, ring parts, and, like, I don't know what to do. Um, Yeah, like, it was just a disaster, so I wanted to mark it in my planner, Um, and to do that, I used a hexagon from the kit with a latte icon from my shop. And then in the evening, we went to go see one of my friends and we had a little barbecue at his condo. He like recently moved to a new place and this condo is like so beautiful. It was built like only two years ago. It's huge. Everything is so freaking cool and modern and like all the amenities are really like modern and beautiful. Um, And like I told him, I'm like, I need to move into this building and we can be neighbors. (laughs) Um, Like even all the doors don't have like keys. They all have these like touchpad things and it just like looks so cool. I just, I want to be his neighbor. So um, that was really fun. And we like barbecued on their patio there that they had. Um, And I used a third box with a barbecue icon from my shop for that. And then Sunday I had a plan with me go live and I totally ran out of my bow foiled icons without realizing it and so I just had to use like a hat little deco I had no idea what to pull in I thought it would be like more random if I pulled in like a different bow so I just went with some deco and then I pulled in a bill do sticker underneath that Um, and then this day I was also doing all the test printing and cutting um, like for the release the next day as well as the listing photos and everything like that so I mark that in a third box with a printer icon from my shop. And then I also was doing some filming this day. So I used some deco from the kit and a camera icon. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Uh, Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.